experience from today or in general, what are the biggest problems that startups have with with metrics? Because I think we're talking about early stage startups, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think in the really early stage, the, I, the one of the most difficult things is uh, until you have a product, it's very hard to measure anything really. Um, and you can, you know, you can measure your success in customer development. You can see how many people respond to your to your request to interview but you know it's very difficult until you actually get a product in people's hands to understand what you can what you can really measure but what you can benefit from in customer development is understanding the problem sufficiently well that when you do design your solution you could you know what you would need to measure to, to test whether you've solved that problem properly so if you understand the dimensions of the problem that you're trying to solve well and you can you can map that out from customer development interviews then when you are building your product you can think well if this if i know that speed of solution is really important then i know that when i'm measuring stuff that's one thing i need to think about when i'm going to go in and, and build a metric around that so how quickly can people complete this process because i knew that in customer development what people told me was it takes me forever to complete this process i wish there was a quicker way so that's kind of how you'd probably approach it you talked a lot about um well measuring going back to the customer and mm. interview more and yeah. is that a process that it's an ongoing process. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, I think, I think we, in, in the UX community, we call that triangulating your data. So you're getting information from one source and you want to go back and check that you're getting the right outcomes from that, from, from another one. So um, metrics can really only ever tell you, you know, what happened. They can't really tell you why. You know, if you're, you know, if you were counting the number of, if you talked about traffic on a motorway, you can stand on the side of a motorway and you know that there are 50 cars and 10 trucks and, and five motorbikes, but I don't know whether they're going for a funeral or a wedding. I don't know if they're gonna go and buy something or if they're gonna go and sell something. I don't know if those trucks are empty or if they're full. I don't know if they're on the way to the depot or if they're coming back up or they're, they're working or they're not working. And, and only by going back into the face-to-face -face stuff and the qualitative data can you start to understand some of, those, some of those questions. And they usually raises more questions that you then can check in the data and see whether you're getting any, any backup. So it's this cycle. You know? Uh, I've heard a lot during these uh, sessions uh, that startups are like, and when are you really sure that you have the right answer, that you know that is, this is the why you're looking for, it's the right why? You don't. I mean, you've got to, you have to have some, you know, it's, it's about empathy, really. It's about kind of um, putting yourself in the shoes of the person who's got the problem and, and, and getting a feel for whether as a human that's, that's what you'd want, you know. I mean, I think... You know the the golden rule. You know, treat others as you would like to be treated. That we've all got that. You know, so all you've got to do is, you know, if I'm a user, would I like to know that this cus this company is selling all my data to anyone that'll buy it? How would I feel about that? Probably not that great. So you know, don't don't treat people like that. You know, if it's really important for me that privacy is essential, and you identify that from 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 user behaviour then, you know, that's something you should be optimizing towards and, and, and saying, okay, this is what they want, let's meet their needs. Yeah. Does it help if the founder has also, he's, one of the, um, he's also the customer, like the one who has the problem? So, so I'm a customer, I've got a problem um, and I need to solve it. That's, I'm increasingly seeing a lot of value in, in, in that. Um, it's... It can be hard because very often if you're, you're, you're a special case, you know, the, the, so it may well be that you can solve that problem, um, but you may be slightly different and you may, it may be more of a problem for you than for other people. So, you, you know, it's not enough to say I've solved my own problem. You need to make sure there are other people out there with the same problem and the same desire to solve it and the same tools available to solve it. So I definitely think it helps, you know, and if, it, if, if you're not the user, then you need to invest even more time in, in going and meeting those people. But even if you are, you still need to go and meet other people who've got that because your experience of the problem may not be, you know, the same as other people's. You know, I have a, I have a good friend who's can't leave his house without knowing exactly where he's going to park. For him, that's a massive problem, but that's pretty unusual, you know. And, and it's not me, you know. So, you know. Okay, so let's wrap it up. Uh, what would you say there are like the two, three, or uh, like most important points that you would like the startups to keep? Okay. Um, I think the main thing I want to try and get across is that uh, metrics are proxies, right? So what you're measuring is not necessarily what's really important, but it's the best, closest thing you can find for that. So, you know, you, you need to understand that somebody took a behavior, didn't, conducted a particular type of behavior based on something, 
and all you're measuring is that behavior but what was it that made them call do that and if you can get closer to that then you'll be you'll be more you'll be, you'll be closer so that's the first thing um, and I think the second major point is is try not to look too much at averages until quite late in the game so try and look at um, instead of saying the average user try and say our most frequent users do this so the people who come back to our site more than 10 times a day have these characteristics not on average people come to our site five times a day or 5.6 times a day you know because you you you, you know averages hide the fact that behind every click is actually a human being doing something whereas if you start looking at people in in clusters of behaviors then at least you're connecting that back to an individual person doing an individual task so those are the two main points i think thank you very much you're very welcome